good Saturday morning, everybody. So I thought that it would take y'all longer Saturday. I actually walked out here to look for my coffee and I do not see it anywhere. Where I lost my coffee, y'all. <laughs> like, I don't think I finished it. Did I finish it? I'm really distracted, sorry. I just, I knew it was sitting here. I've been out here early this morning cleaning up and making cinnamon rolls and now I lost my coffee. Have you seen my coffee? No. I lost my coffee. <laughs> Found it. It was in my bathroom. Of course, it's cold. <laughs> See, I told you I didn't finish it. I didn't think I did. All is right in the world now. <laughs> oh, so, like I said, it's Saturday. Um, the girls' friends are still here from their sleepover that I shared about in the previous vlog. Um, and currently, so it like poured down rain this morning. Like, woke up the thunder and hearing the rain, okay? And so our yard is completely flooded. And several of my kids are outside playing in it. <laughs> not the older kids, not the younger kids, but the middle kids. <laughs> but they're having fun. So I'm very hopeful today, now that the weather has cleared up a lot. Hopefully it doesn't rain anymore. Um, I want to get to Lowe's. I have been wanting to go every day this week. We're trying to like limit our trips because of gas getting so high. But it's really not that far. <laughs> and... I think I'm going to go to two places, so that'll make it worth it, right? I don't know. But I really want to go to Lowe's. I need to get some more soil, um, and I just like browsing through their the flowers and stuff. And then I'm wanting to go to an antique store that is that's not too far away from us either, but I haven't been in forever, and I love going to antique stores and thrift stores, and I just don't get to do that very often anymore. And I almost went last weekend. Why didn't I go last weekend? I think we ended up doing major grocery shopping. That's what it was. And I didn't end up able, by the time that I was able to go, the antique store was closed. So I'm hoping to do that today too. Just some mom time away. It is very much needed right now. Just recharge my batteries a little bit, browse some antiques. So I'm just looking forward to getting away. But, so when the kids play like this, Nathan came and told me, he's like, they're out in the mud. I was like, of course they are. He always jokes with me. They get that from you, Jessica. <laughs> because I totally played out in the mud whenever I was, they're watching a movie. Good night, that's loud. Um, no, the movie. Anyway, so did anybody else play in the mud when they were kids? I mean, that's a good childhood, right? <laughs> Saturday morning, aftermath of sleepover, it's really not that bad. Um, there was dishes all there. And over here, um, the girls apparently made midnight cookies. So we had three extra girls spend the night that are our three oldest girls uh, friends. So they made cookies last night. So there was all that mess. Um, they did clean up and like contained it to the sink. So that's the first thing I did this morning was clean up. And then I actually had uh, sourdough cinnamon rolls rising overnight and then finished making those and put those together. Um, Nathan also got donuts, so the kids had already eaten donuts, but my thought was even if they didn't eat them this morning, we can have them tomorrow morning. I've actually got two more in this pan. It made a little more, I'll transfer these here, but they turned out pretty good. And actually, so Nathan got them out of the oven and he was like, I'm not sure if they're done. So I cut open one to see, and these obviously are more done than those. And I said something about it at making them. He was like, wait, what? Huh? I was like, I made them with a sourdough. And he's like, I thought they were out of the can. I was like, no, they're not. I did not let them do the second rise though because, well, I wanted to get them in the oven to cook. It said to let them have a second rise for an hour to an hour and a half. So obviously they should be bigger and fluffier, but um, given that they ate the donuts, I probably had more time, but they still taste very good. Um, look, this is what, what you buy when you got a bunch of kids. We actually could use two packs of these. We were all out of band-aids and um, Miley fell down yesterday and got hurt. So we actually needed the big ones. It is so windy y'all, oh my goodness. We had, like I said, a huge rainstorm and literally all the big oak trees, you know, the ones that are like 30 feet up in the air are swaying like this. <laughs> and the street lights, a lot of street lights are out and they're swaying everywhere too. So kind of crazy, but the sun is out shining. It's kind of chilly, um, but anyway, so I obviously left the house, so I'm just going to be out kind of scooter pooting. That's what my grandma would call it, is anytime that we were out doing stuff with her, she would just say, oh, we're just going to go scooter pooting. And it was just kind of driving around, going to thrift stores, garage sales, and just doing whatever struck your fancy. 
So I'm out scooter pooting by myself, y'all. My big old van is empty. <laughs> um, so my first stop is lunch. I'm stopping at one of my favorite places that I don't get to go to very often. They actually close at two o'clock. It's 1.30, so I got to get inside. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't get to go very often is they close early, but the food is so good. And then I'm going to go to that antique store and hopefully make it to Lowe's. So kind of do have a plan to my scooter Putin. My grandma did not plan scooter Putin. It's just whatever happened, but I, I kind of have to have a plan. So anyways, I'm going to head in and get some food because I'm hungry. We are not counting calories today, y'all. This is so good. That wind is seriously about to blow me away walking. So I had to park with this big thing behind the restaurant. Anyways, which is fine. So I just had a little bit of a walk. Not bad. But the wind is seriously so strong. I really thought it was going to blow me away. Oh, so I am absolutely stuffed. So good. So it's it's a piece of fried chicken. I wasn't sure if y'all would hear me talking in the restaurant because it was kind of loud. But it's a piece of fried chicken with goat cheese and red pepper jelly. And it normally comes between a biscuit, which I actually haven't had it with a biscuit. I always ask to substitute the biscuit with a fried green tomato on each end. So good. A friend turned me on to that. And every time I ask the restaurant, they're like, because it's not like the normal way to get it. And they're always like, oh my gosh, I bet that's really good. And I'm like, it is. And they always substitute it for me. I'm like I've never had a problem. And that red pepper jelly, oh, so good. Okay, so I think I'm going to head to the Antique, an Antique, Antique, Antique store first because they probably close, you know, within a couple hours versus Lowe's, you know, will be open forever. All right, so we're going to head and see if I can find anything that I just can't live without. Here are the results of my scooter Putin. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all hear that wind? So I got five bags of soil. Um, those will stay here until Nathan comes and gets them. Y'all, these plants were on clearance. I think they were $7 each and they just looked still really good. So I thought it was a good deal. So I got those and then I've got all these bags from the antique store that I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm so excited. I really got some, some good fun stuff. All right, so here's the stuff that I got. I just, they were just really good prices, y'all. I could not tell myself no. I mean, I guess that's a problem. Okay, so first I got this sign for Easter decorations. We need to get out our Easter decorations. It was only $3, I think. Um, they took all the price tags off. So I like to collect milk glass. I have several pieces throughout the house and I like to only spend like under $15 whenever I get something. I haven't gotten something in years. Um, and this was only $10. Like, for that size, it's really... Yeah. Hmm. I know, I've got some that up one, there. That one, that one, that I one, like one, it. That one, that one. I've gotten them all at a bargain, I promise. That one, that one, <laughs> the chicken. They spare yes, no, no, that was a different one. Um, It got broken and I bought a new one. Okay, so I've seen these two over the years. This was $7, it's measuring cups. Um. So I really wanted that too. Like I said, I couldn't tell myself no. And this is like a ring dish. It's actually cast iron. It's very heavy, but this would be nice like on my makeup table. And then this is just a ceramic and <laughs> Nathan's in here like giving me the eye. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I've got something that I'm hiding. <laughs> okay, so I got two pairs of earrings. These were like $3 each. So cute. And then I got this colander. I just really liked it. <laughs> I am dying laughing. Okay, so there's kind of not really a story. I don't know. I know. So he did. Yes! I did. I freaked out. Okay, so look what else I got. 
A rotary phone? I am so excited about it. Yes, it's please. like beyond ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so these are just fun to play with, okay? But, oh, there's something sticky. I gotta clean it. So, <laughs> Nathan took me happy. <laughs> I'm dying laughing, okay. So, a rotary phone, y'all. Do y'all remember how these work? Like, okay, so I have seen these and my neighbor actually has one and the kids love playing or actually she has like what three or four anyways my kids love playing with them and i was like that would be fun to get one for the kids to play with so at antique stores y'all they are expensive they are like 40 dollars. okay when we were in tennessee last year i found one for at an antique store for 26 dollars, and harper was just like obsessed playing with the thing okay and i almost bought it at 26 dollars, but i was like that's 26 dollars on a toy basically and I just didn't think it was a wise investment. Anyways, so Nathan came in, he saw this and he was like, oh my goodness, cause he knew that, you know, I would love to get one for the kids to play with. Um, I really got to clean it. It's kind of dirty and sticky. <laughs> but Nathan came in and he was like, oh my goodness. He said, some about, did he ask how much it was? Yeah, he was like, how much it was? Like, he said, how much was that? And I said, guess. And he said, by the look on your face, I'm guessing that you got a deal. <laughs> he said, I did. Um, and he said, well, based off of when we saw them before, they were like $40. And he said, so I'm guessing, and he said $12, and that's what I paid. That's why I screamed, yes, because he was right. So $12, y'all. Y'all want to call me? <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. Okay. I had a little bit too much fun at the antique store. <laughs> I saw that. And I actually ran into an old friend that I hadn't seen in years. Anyway, so I'm going to get my stuff cleaned up and find a new home for it. <laughs> Hmm. Back in the day, this was your phone. It was. Hmm. Hello. Oh, I can't go. Let's see. Stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harper, I got a surprise for you. All right, I should clean it first. All right, you want to open your eyes now? <laughs> Isn't that fun? Look, we, can't, we have to clean it too. <laughs> okay. It's a little sticky. Mm, see? Hello? It's for you. Mm. Do you remember playing with it at the store? Yeah. You remember? And I said that I'd get you one one day? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. You guys say hello. <laughs> You're like, I need to clean it first. <laughs> I really enjoyed getting away. I have been wanting to get to that antique store for a while now. Like I said, I used to love going to thrift stores and antique stores. I mean, I still do love it. I just don't have as much time as I used to to go do those things. And we have a few Saturdays before baseball season starts up. So it was nice to get out. And I honestly had a little bit too much fun at that antique store. I think I browsed it two times over. I texted Nathan on my way home. I was like, I had a little bit too much fun at the antique store. He was like, I'm sure you did. Oh, and I'm so excited about the phone. Like, that was just a good find. And I got I, just everything that I got. Like, I was trying to, like, choose between, like, Jessica, you don't really need to buy all this stuff. Um, and I couldn't decide. So, I just, I just spoiled myself today. <laughs> Mamas, remember to take time and spoil yourself when you can. We all deserve it. <laughs> so, it was just nice to get away. So, thanks so much for hanging out with me um, on my Scooter Putin adventures. And we'll see y'all in the next video.